Hey you guys, it's Vijaya and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make my roasted vegetable quinoa. Now I often get asked how I eat through the week and in order to stay balanced and healthy I make this quinoa and then it's good from Monday to Friday. It's super healthy, easy to make and most importantly really filling. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the quinoa. I have a cup here and to the quinoa I'm going to add a little bit of water. Now the very first time I made quinoa, I did not enjoy it because I found it to be super bitter. And what I've learned through time is that massaging the grains like this with your hand helps release the outer coating on the quinoa, which is super bitter. And then that way you're left with a very, very neutral grain. So as I massage the quinoa, you can see the water start to get cloudy. You wanna do this for about a minute or so, and then drain it and it'll be ready to use. So as you can see, the water's super murky, and that's just the coating that's come off the quinoa, and it's ready to be drained. I have a pot that's heating up, and for every one cup of quinoa, I like to add one and three quarter cups of liquid. Today I'm using water, but of course you can use chicken broth, uh, vegetable stock, anything that you'd like, and a big old pinch of salt. And we're gonna wait for this to come to the simmer. So we're at a simmer now. In goes my rinsed quinoa. You know, I'm gonna get every last bit in there. Give it a bit of a stir, just so that it's one with all the salt and the water. And then, let it come back up to the simmer. So you can see the bubbles starting to form along the edges, so I'm just gonna drop my heat down to low, the lowest that it can go. Cover the pot with a little bit of aluminum foil, and that's gonna trap the steam, and then on with the lid. And you're just gonna tuck the aluminum foil right on the edges of the pot to trap the steam and this is going to cook for 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to get started on the vegetables. I love vegetables so much and you can use just about anything that you like. I'm going to show you what I have today. So I have some zucchini, a red pepper, a yellow pepper, just because I love the color. And this, you guys, is my new favorite vegetable. It's the acorn squash. When it roasts up, it gets lovely and sweet and I'm absolutely addicted to it. So these are the four that we're going to use today. So if you've never used an acorn squash before, this is what it looks like. It literally looks like an acorn. And this is how you break it down. So you're gonna cut the top off like this. And then because this is the flat side, you wanna be safe, flip it over, and now you have a nice stable bottom. And you're gonna cut through the top. And then on the inside, because it is a squash, there are seeds. So you're gonna scoop those seeds out with a spoon, super nice and easy. Just like that, all in one go. and now it's ready to be chopped up. Now I'm gonna flip it over. Again, we want that nice stable base so it's safe to cut. And you're just gonna cut it lengthwise like this. And then you're gonna bite, cut it, bite it. <laughs> you're not gonna bite it yet, you're gonna cut it up into chunks first. Right, and you want all the vegetables to be cut up into the same size so that they cook evenly. Now the zucchini. And the peppers. Look at this heap of gorgeous vegetables. It's just crying out for a little bit of seasoning. So I'm gonna go in with a touch of olive oil and that's gonna help them roast up. And then I'm going to season with, of course, a generous sprinkling of salt. You want to make sure that they're well seasoned. Some black pepper. And now you can get creative. If you want to add smoked paprika, go do that. If you want to add some dried garlic or even fresh garlic, go ahead. I have some dried thyme on the stem, which is just going to add like a very lovely hum of flavor. And then you're just going to give this a toss. Really, really nice and easy. And already my mouth is watering, I'm not gonna lie. It just looks so beautiful. And you know, the more beautiful your food looks, the more you'll wanna eat it, right? So spread it out nice and even, and then it's ready for the oven. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees, nice and hot, because I wanna cook these quickly and retain a little bit of their texture. So I'm gonna pop them in right now for about 20 minutes or so. All right, let's check in on the quinoa. Ooh, lots of steam. And if you come in and take a look, 
you can see that it's nice and fluffy and separate. Oh my gosh, this quinoa looks great. So we're gonna take our fluffy quinoa and transfer it to a serving platter. Oh, there's my oven. <laughs> My vegetables have finished roasting. They're tender, they have a little bit of a char to them, and now they're ready to meet the quinoa. Right over the top like this. Yummy, doesn't that look so good? And to add a little bit of freshness, I'm going in with some flat leaf parsley. I just love, love, love the grassiness of parsley. And you can use any herbs that you like. If you wanna use basil or coriander, go for it but just that hint of green is going to set the entire dish off. Perfect. A little scattering of green right over the top, so beautiful. So at this point, if you wanna serve this as is for a dinner party, that's totally cool, or you can go in and toss the entire lot together. Beautiful, look at all those colors. Mmm. And just like that, you have a mound of roasted vegetable quinoa. I think enough to feed a family of four, to tell you the truth, for an entire week. Amazing. All right, and of course I have to give it a taste. So a little bit of that quinoa, some zucchini, acorn squash, and a pepper. That looks like the perfect bite. As always, I've signed myself up for quite a big bite. We'll see how it goes. It's so good. All the vegetables, they've clipped down, they're slightly crisp, some of them are kind of soft, but the sweetness of the vegetables comes through, which I love. The quinoa is nice and neutral, really, really fluffy, and then the thyme and the parsley just set it off. And you know what I like to do sometimes, you guys? I like to top this off with a little bit of feta or any type of cheese that you like, but I think feta in particular is really nice because this has a bit of a Mediterranean vibe to it, and it just completes the meal. Serve it with a little bit of chicken, some pork on the side, whatever you like, or just eat it on its own because it's really that good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, or concern for me, or a suggestion, leave it down below. Until my next video, you guys, I will see you later. Bye.